This is going to be a very quick little tutorial as I want to go ahead and implement this as a feature real quick. So when our health, well our food and hunger, I mean our food and thirst go below zero, I actually need to lower it so I can show you quicker. When they go below zero, we don't have any sort of implementation. Well, we don't have anything implemented, so we take any sort of damage. So right now, we our hunger and thirst can go well below zero. So for example, if I start them out at, I'll just start them out at two. Let's go ahead and build real quick. Not sure what all that issue is, but hey, you can see they're at two. One and a half. And zero. Alright, so now you'll see they just procedurally start to go negative and nothing happens to our health. So I want to make it so that it actually starts to cause us some damage. I'm going to lower these to actually. Yeah, just one. Make it a little quicker. So what we can do is, if we look in our survival character, we already have our take damage function written. Oh, one thing I do want to change real quick. Uh, add a habit. This is already a virtual function when it was created, so we do not need to have it stated as virtual beforehand. It doesn't matter really if you do, but it just I'm just trying to clean up myself a little bit. So as I said, we already have our take damage function. All we need to do is pretty much call it, and we'll go pretty much just from there. We'll figure out the amount of damage we want it to take. So let's start out with hunger. So the damage for hunger, all I really care about is having it just the hunger's value and multiply it by negative one. That's only if it's less than zero. So for example, let's say our hunger is negative 10. Well, we need to pass in a positive value so we know how much damage to take. So all we need to do is simply multiply it by negative 1. And I screwed that up, but it'll turn it into negative, or it'll turn it into a positive. So let's go ahead and set ourselves up here. So we're going to get owner. Actually, because we're going to have to cast it. So if a survival care, I do not have that included. So let's go ahead and include our character at the top. Separate from here. A survival character dot h. And if a survival character character equals cast a survival character from get owner. So if we can in fact get our character and cast it to a type of a survival character, we can go ahead and do our stuff. What are you complaining about? One, two, whoops. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it because I saw that. Uh, so now we need to call our take damage. So character, take damage, and you can see the amount. We need to pass in a damage event, a controller for whoever started it. This will well, it's just the actor for damage causer, which can simply be, well, our character. So let's go ahead and get the amount. Oops. So we're going to do hunger times equals negative 1. So also let's do a check here. So if hunger is less than 0, then we want to do this. All right, so the next parameter is a damage event. So we don't have one of these, so we're going to do F damage event and simply call its constructor. And now we need access to a controller. So we're just going to get our controller. And for damage causer, just character. Alright. Trying to think. Character. Oops. Get controller. Alright, we should be good to go. 
and let's go ahead and copy this to our thirst and change anything that says hunger to thirst what am I doing that should yeah that should be all so the more hungry and thirsty we get like the more it gets below zero the faster we are going to lose health and that's just something that I think works out quite well you can kind of fine-tune this and see how you want it but it's something as is that, that I kind of like is it zero so health is at 30 I just realized what I did I'm a complete idiot I don't know why I set it to equal itself by negative one I really don't. Anyways, sorry about that. Alright, as you can see, we're losing health. And we're losing health faster and faster the lower our hunger and thirst gets. And then once we reach zero, which should happen pretty quickly at this rate. we die. Well, they both die, because, well, yeah. <laughs> and same thing, pers gonna persist over here as it keeps going down. So, let's go ahead and do a quick reiteration of what we did. Oh, another thing we can actually, because we, again, we don't need any other clients to know what our, vari our variables values are for these things like our hunger, thirst, health, stamina, we can set these up to replicate with only ourselves. So do rep lifetime, condition, just copy and paste it. Then it's the third parameter, cund underscore owner only. And paste it. Now let's go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and make it start health by default 100 and same thing with stamina. And might as well bring our hunger and thirst back up to 100. Okay, now to explain what we've done. Now whenever our where are we here whenever our hunger is less than 0, meaning we have nothing left and we're going into a decrement of value, we're going to take that value and convert it to a positive. So that way we know how much damage we want to take. So that's just if our hunger is negative 10, we multiply it by negative 1. That's going to turn into positive 10, meaning we take 10 damage. The same thing is going to go for our thirst. So that way we just have a... That's just something that we have to do in the future anyway, so might as well get it over here. So hopefully you learned something in this one.